Namaste. And welcome back to Grow with the Jam family. Mira Nam Anjali Hai. Hum Ache Hai. Kaise Hai Ya. And we hope you're staying home and safe. But today we're going to be watching a video on the Chinese journalist and where their allegiance lie. Is it here with the U.S.? Is it back in China? And then why are they here? Yeah. Um, there's been a lot of stuff going on since the coronavirus. Um, we have had over 100,000 people have died here in the U.S. from it. And so many millions of people being affected worldwide. It's been unbelievable the amount of stress and strain it has put on everybody emotionally and you know physically. job money wise physically um you know everything and we know it came out of china that's yeah. where it started whether it started in the wet market whether it started in the lab i honestly think it came from the lab and if even if it was by accident i think they let it spread to the world on purpose yeah. you know when you don't let the planes fly out to other parts of China, but you let them fly, you know, internationally. Other places, yeah. Um, that's a way to spread it quickly around the world. So this is affecting everybody. And the one thing we found here is there's been a few Chinese journalists that have been questioning the president. There's been um, some Chinese um, um, professors that have been get, taking money from the U.S. and giving stuff to China and, yeah. you know, secretively. So there's just been a lot of stuff going on. And where is your allegiance lying? You know, if you are here in the U.S., you should be... All for the U.S. Yes, thank you. We're all about, you know, the country that you live in, the country that's feeding you, the country that you come to. If you come from another country and you come here, you come here for a better life because you like the U.S., yeah. then your support should be here in the U.S., especially when you take the citizenship. You are a U.S. citizen. You are not a Indian American citizen. You are not a Chinese American citizen. You are an American citizen. And that goes for the people of India, too. Like, you, the people that come to your country and they want to be in India because they love India – you become part of India. And if you're there and you hate it, then find a country you that there? you love and go there. If you feel like you're not being treated right, if you feel like you don't love and support that country, then go find a country that you're going to love and support. Don't You're not doing any good for anyone when you're in a country you don't love and you're not supportive of it. You can disagree with who's in power. You can disagree with policies. You can ask questions, but... Do it during election time. Do it tomorrow is election day. Like, this is the time you want to put it on the ballot. This is the time you want to yell and scream. But once somebody is in power, you need to work with that person to do the best you can to get the best out of it for everybody in yeah. the end. So we're going to start up this video. We struggle to understand who the journalists support, China or the country that's feeding them. Uh, yeah, go ahead, please. You said many times that the U.S. is doing far better than any other country when it comes to testing. Yes. Why does that matter? Why is this a global competition to you if everyday Americans are still losing their lives and we're still seeing more cases every day? Well, they're um, losing their lives everywhere in the world. And maybe that's yeah, a question you should China. ask yeah, like, China. Who are you with? Don't ask me. Ask China that question, okay? When you ask them that question, you may get a very unusual answer. Yes, behind you, please. What, sir, why are you saying that to me specifically? I'm telling that I you. Ask China? I'm not saying it specifically to anybody. I'm saying it to anybody that would ask a nasty question That's like that. That's not a nasty question. Please. The exact same thing about you, that you should have warned them the virus was spreading like wildfire through the month of February, instead of holding rallies with thousands of people. Why did you wait so long who you to with? warn who, them? Who you with? And why did you yeah. uh, not have social distancing until March 16th? Who are you with? I'm Weijia Jiang with CBS News. So, if you look at what I did in terms of cutting off or banning China from coming in. Chinese nationals. But by the way, not Americans who are also nice coming from easy. China. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Just relax. We cut it off. 
people were amazed. These gentlemen, everybody was amazed that I did it. We were very early. Oh, I'm, I'm the president. And you know what I just did? And you know what I just... by the way, when you issued the ban, the virus was already here. Okay, and you know how many people, when I issued the ban, how many cases of virus were in the United States when I issued the ban? Do you know the number? There was... No, no, how many cases? Remember I said one person. How many cases were here when I issued the ban? Tell did me. you know? No, no, no. You have to do your research. How many? I did my research. On the 23rd of March, you said you knew this was going to be a pandemic. Can I tell you what? Well I did know it. I did know it. All I have to do is look. So you knew All, it was anybody knew it. Just, are you ready? How many cases were in the United States when I did my ban? How many people had died in the United States? So do you acknowledge that you didn't think Keep it was going Keep your voice down, please. Keep your voice down. Did you not? How many? How many? How many cases were in the United States? I did a ban where I'm closing up the entire country. How many people died? And that's a fair point. How many people died in the United States? And yet I closed up the country, and I believe there were no deaths, zero deaths at the time I closed up the country. Nobody was there. And you should say thank you very much for good judgment. Are you cooperating with I don't China? Know. Who are you working for, China? You work know. for China or are you with a newspaper? Who are you with? Hong Kong Phoenix TV. Who owns that, China? It's is it owned by China? Hong Kong. No, is it owned by the state? No, it's not. It's a private owned company. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, look, I'll let you know. I'll give you a good answer to that in a few months. I wanted to see what they do. So recent fraud cases. Yeah. And so these professors were arrested for concealing ties to China in the past year. Yeah, this was recent. Yeah. He was arrested recently for receiving money from NASA and then sending information back to China. Yeah, of getting money and not Again. claiming it. Yeah. So where is their allegiance? This was crazy. Like, yeah. Like, where is your allegiance? Are you working for the Chinese Communist Party under the table or something? Yeah, because if... You're asking these questions. Your allegiance is definitely not here. No. Like, okay, you don't like the president? That's fine. But instead of questioning him on all these things he's doing wrong, maybe we should be asking him what else we can do to make things better, you know? Yeah. Talking about how many people, you know, how many people are working on the cure is awesome, but then you start going off on, you know, why is this a competition? That's not a competition. No, it's not. It's trying to make people feel better. It's trying yeah. to solve the cure. Respect the president, even if you don't agree with him. We, no, uh, honestly, we don't agree with him all the time. You, But he's in power now, and the elections are tomorrow, so that's when you need to yell and scream and, and put it on your vote. But when he's in power and... He's been doing, you know, stopping the flights yeah. and trying to get enough people working on the cure. These are the times that you need people to support. This is not the time to be yelling and screaming and, and you know. Like saying, what can we do to help? What is there for the future? Like, yeah. Things what like else, that. What haven't we done? Then it's like, you know, and then you get these professors that yeah. have been taking money from the U.S. government. And now they're sending the information or they're sending the money to China. And they're not. When you're here, when you've come here, whether you come here for education, you come here to live, this is becomes your country because it is feeding you it is doing stuff for you that makes you like that keeps you alive yeah and if this is not the country you wanted to come to live to be a part of then, then go, go to home. the country where you want to be yeah because if you support the chinese communist party and yet you're here questioning the president go question the Chinese Communist Party. I don't think you'll be alive tomorrow because some of those doctors weren't that were just saying the virus was out. You know, this is not how you want to treat people. Yeah. And this is not how you want to treat the country that's feeding you. Where is your allegiance? You know, don't pull the victim card like, oh, you're not being nice to me. No, you should be the first person up there denouncing China and saying like, what are we doing to make China accountable, to find out what really happened. Why are we not in there investigating? And 
And what else can we do to help the people here that are dying? Yeah. Instead of questioning the president's actions, you need to be questioning what the hell... Don't a- look upon the past and question his actions in the past. Look upon what's going to happen in the future. Yeah, and what can we do to make things better? Like, China needs to be accountable for this. Some Somehow, the world needs to come together, I think, as a whole and make them accountable. There yeah. needs to be an investigation and there needs to be accountability for this. And until that happens, China thinks they can do no wrong. And right now, I think they think they're on top of the world. Now but they're, they're not. encrunching into Indian territory and taking parts of it. You know, they they think that they've got the U.S., you know, oh, they're weak now because of the coronavirus. But if the whole world joins together against these Chinese communist parties because everyone is affected by it right now, yes, then we can defeat them and we can show, like, we can find a cure. We can do stuff better. Yeah. But right now, it's just a whole bunch of mess. Comes together against them and says, like, this, you, what you did was wrong. Everybody's been affected by it. This is where they need to be accountable and somebody needs to take action. The Chinese Communist Party is the one that's in charge of it. The people who support the Communist Party, Communist Party, and the people who are in the Communist Party, those are the people who are wrong in China. But the regular citizens who are trying to fight for their lives are not wrong. Yeah, who have been affected by it as well. But your allegiance to this country, so if somebody is coming to attack it, and this is like silent bullets right now, this coronavirus, this is a biological warfare. Silent war, yeah. Yeah. Then you should be against whoever it is. Even if it's the country that you grew up in, if that is not the country you're living in that you want to be a part of, then your allegiance should be here. If you want to be a part of China, go. The door is open. You know, washing their hands like nothing happened and closing their doors. The least they can do is say sorry and let us investigate so we can find a cure for this and what they did to it. Right. Because, you know, letting people fly in and out of the country to other countries but not around China and then taking suspicious. medicine like, from the U.S. and patenting it because the U.S. hadn't patented it yet. And buying a bunch of masks beforehand because you know this was going to happen. And keeping them and now you're selling them for double price. Yeah. Like, and it's just everything that has happened has been secretive, has been wrong, has been... Um, you know, you, it's not trustworthy at all. There is nothing trustworthy, and yet they have a seat at the UN. They're supposed to be one of the most powerful countries in the world, and yet you are treating people like not humanely yeah. at all. This shows how powerful they are, but does it show how good of a country they are? No. No, and their power needs to be stripped of them. So if there is a war here, even if it's the country that you came from, you should be fighting against that. It's just how it is. And if you don't like being here and you think this is not the country, then go back to the country. Go to the country you want to be in. Go to the country you would fight your life for. Exactly. And that you feel like would do good for you too. That goes both ways. Because if you're here and you're talking trash and your allegiance is somewhere else, then you shouldn't be here. You should be where your allegiance is. And, you know, go. Go back to China. If these journalists were in China asking these exact same questions to them, I guarantee you would not see them tomorrow. Especially with the people here. Where is your allegiance? So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe. Join the wonderful Jan family. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.